we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, Father of forgiveness, Father who is almighty, Father who helps at dawn, please cast out all the evil spirits from our family. May we all receive freedom. Moment by moment, may we receive blessings where we do more well. May we receive the promise that you block our disasters and make our children do more well. May we be worthy to pray for our country and our people. You said our church is one. May we be brothers who become one. And may our country quickly pass this tunnel of darkness. At this door, we believe there will be these workings where this is fulfilled. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. There's nothing as easy as fixing your destiny. But p because people say it's hard, that's what's, that's what's strange. It's the Almighty One who created us. And He also says He'll fix our destiny. So, to, you know, there are people who say they're going to win over this Almighty Person, uh, the Almighty One. Isn't that, you know, if you say, I'm not doing well, you're saying you're stronger than God. Sometimes there are people like that. You know, they're not of their right mind. What? How can they say they're stronger than God? Oh, I can't do well. Oh, this person thinks they're stronger than God. In front of Almighty God, how can you say, oh, it's not going to work for me? If the master is is dragging the goat to the market to sell, then it just has to follow. If it if it refuses, then its, its toenails are going to bleed. You know, the, the goat that follows well, they don't have you know, blood on their neck. But the one that refuses, the goats, you know, it's, it's, it's bleeding all around the neck and you can see that it's, it's suffered. And if you listen, the master wouldn't sell you. But you see those people who don't do well. They're the ones that think that they're stronger than God. Have a look around, see if there's anyone like that. Don't just look, you'll just become a viewer. As you look, in order to get rid of this heart, where we think we're stronger than God. Let's say, let's say, according to the Bible, you're better than me. Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, we have to see others as better than ourselves. Let's say to the person next to them, Sir, you're better than me. Let's greet them. You're better than me. And they truly are better than me. You know, the day before, I experienced this. 36 years, the one that he he um, he's he's put up wallpaper for 36 years, and I watched how he used the brush, and he followed. It, it, this is what he did with the brush, and even the corners. With us, we just we just crumple it in there, but he doesn't do that. He 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 flicks the brush around, and so that the brush won't get all bent. So he, for us, whether the brush is, you know, bent or crumpled or not, you know, you do that, I do that. But 36, as much as he's done that, there's something there. But because he's not inside of Christ, he doesn't have wisdom and knowledge. So after he'd done that, he couldn't get back out. So he ended up breaking everything he'd done. And I'm now fixing what he's broken what he ruined. So it's like putting a spot on something really good. So, you know, I tried to use my fingernail. I tried to use um, a knife to try and get rid of that. And I thought, ah, oh, these, there are these, you know, b bad effects that come from that. You know, that 36 years, well, you think you're not like that? We're the same. I'm the same. Those who can't receive answers, who aren't receiving blessings, even though you have a prayer topic, why is it that you're not receiving? 
You heard the word yesterday. So this is the problem. Even though you've prayed, why don't you have answers? You haven't repented. You don't have the law. Those prayers are demon, shaman relig- uh, prayers. They're not a prayer that God receives. You didn't. You didn't have the law and you didn't act completely. So if you're a demon, how can God answer you? But what you're given last night, already this morning, it's gone. So that's why it's not working in your life. So you say, I'm not, receive answer- I'm not receiving answers. I don't have problems. I have all these problems in my family. That person is so good at betraying. You look at that person. They're praying about some problem, but you don't see them because they've already betrayed. Even before they received or he- got healed, They, they, they've gone off because they're so filthy. That's why they're not receiving answers. You look at that person, they even betray people in the world. Who is that? It's you, me, we're the same. You say, oh, I'm not going to be like that. No, we all betray. It's only those in Christ who don't betray because Christ is eternal. If you have done four step repentance, it's not me, but he makes me to become eternal. Someone unchanging. That's the person that God gives answers to. Those who will betray, he doesn't answer them. So why doesn't that person receive? They're not in Christ. They don't repent properly. All they want are the answers. That's why they're a thief. They're lying. That person, if you have anything to do with them, you'll always suffer. What kind of person am I? If you have a problem that's not being solved and you keep getting blocked, already you're evil. So even though I don't ask your situation or about your family, I can already see that you're in darkness. If you're in darkness, you kill your children. If I have 10 darknesses, then my my children have 15, 20 darknesses and and their life won't work out. So if all our people go inside of Christ, if we do four-step repentance properly, then our people become one. So your problems aren't being solved. Health, your business, your family, whatever you're doing, those people who are like, what should I do? They're evil. So why has this happened? This is what we have to fix. So 1 John chapter 2, verse 9, 10, 11. It's it's so sad. After setting the table, someone else eats it and clears it away. So you've you've set up the table, you know, you bring your husband and you, you want to eat together. But you know, as you as you leave the table, a dog comes and eats it all up. So after setting up the table, you've got these empty bowls, you know. Is that a man or an idiot? That's someone who's an idiot. Why do we have to live like that? So if we become a blessed man, even though you haven't done anything, these things keep coming. Someone who's unfortunate, things keep leaving. So you look when your household's ruined. If you'd left that money and you just used it, it would last four or five years and you'd be rich. But where is it all gone? So those people who have believed other religions and come here, they say, you know how many houses, you know how much money, you know how many generations we could have lived well? But even though they, they're they saying it's all gone, not even a cent left. They didn't even get to use it and it's gone. But someone who's unfortunate, that's what happens. But a blessed man, even though they haven't earned anything, they, they spend. As there was someone from Seoul who was doing four step repentance and he said, Pastor, you know what I earn? I didn't even earn a hundred dollars. And yet when I calculate, I've got, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. And he's saying, when I sleep, does someone put money in my pockets? Who does that? Without him realizing it's God who's done all that. So every day when he writes down his the the income, it's it's in the red. It, it's a deficit. But Every month, he says there's money left over. He says it's strange, it's strange. And I said, God makes what isn't to be, he makes what's dead to be alive. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. How can that be strange? And so he witnessed like that, and still he betrayed and departed. Why? Because from the beginning, if you're not in Christ, even if you're in Christ, if you don't repent even one day, then you go, then you, then you go out and you betray. That's, that's, that's what a traitor is. 
So yes, you may wash your face today and brush your teeth, but if you don't, if you don't wash your face till lunchtime, you become dirty. You've already gone to evil. You've become dirty. That's why we have to continue to do this. And so he says to do it without ceasing. So when someone says, "When do I graduate?" What can you say to a demon who's who's determined to to betray? What can you say to that person? You, but it's when we we say, "I I want to be with you eternally." That's when he does things for us. It's so sad. It's so sad. Demons, as soon as they hear God's word, they fall asleep. But when 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 the the word stops, that's when they open their eyes. They always do things oppositely. They ruin their house, and yet they don't know they're still doing things oppositely. Let's read verse nine, ten, eleven. If if it's darkness, if you, if your way is not opening, if you're not doing well, the evil do not love their neighbor. Let's read together. The one who says he is in the light and yet hates his brother is in the darkness until now. The one who loves his brother abides in the light. And there is no cause for stumbling in him, but the one who hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Amen. So, in Korea, there are so many people like this. Even myself, you and I. We don't know the standard of whether we've hated someone or not. If you don't tell someone to do well, then you've hated them. But you go to these fake denominations. If something's run according to the Bible, we we need to say so that the fakes will realize. But they don't say anything. They just please themselves. It's just I'll just do something for myself. That's someone who is evil. You see these people who have attended our church for a long time and don't receive blessings. They never say anything to anyone. They don't love. If you love, oh, looking that that you're falling asleep, you you're filled with demons. You need to say that, but you don't. You see someone doing bad things. You know you should say what you plant, you'll reap. But you down to your children, but you don't say that. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot do service at the church. Philippians chapter three verse three. So you, if you see someone who can't do service, you know you should say you have demons, but you never say that, and you don't realize that you're hating others, and you just live like that. So you do these idiotic things, and you don't know, you don't realize that you're ruining your life. You say that you haven't hated your neighbor. Then how is it you can't say things to make them do well? You know, you say things within your family because you love them, but you don't say anything to your neighbor because you don't have love. So saints, if you can't say things. For you to do well together, then then you're evil. That's Hebrews chapter three verse thirteen. And yet you don't know. You look at people who don't do well. That's what they're doing. If you ask them, they're like, "Well, I'll eat my bread. You eat your bread. What, you know, I'm not going to meddle." Is that meddling? Meddling is evil. Love is light. And yet you can't distinguish. So how evil are you that you cannot discern? You can't discern between lusts and love. Lust is to is idolatry. It's flattery. It's lusts. It's evil. So they do things double-mindedly. They don't know that it's lusts. The Bible is recorded, but they don't know. So if you look according to the Bible, you can see that person's double-minded. They're evil. They may seem to do well, but they'll be ruined. That person will live as. That's why that person lives as a beggar, and they don't. They're not doing well, and yet they don't know. So, what is light? Light is faith. It's obedience. Matthew chapter five, verse thirteen. It's us. Uh, uh, it's sorry. It's um. If you say that you're salt light, so you find this light by four step repentance. Two Corinthians chapter four, verse four. So, without doing four step repentance, and you say it's light. What kind of lie is that? You're denying the Bible. Without four step repentance, it's not light. Two Corinthians chapter four, verse four. So these people who don't even do four step repentance and say they're light, and t- because you let those lies remain, that's why you're evil. But Pastor Park, I say. According to the Bible, that's a lie. Light. You have to do four step repentance to be in the light. So because I say correct words, they these evil people curse me as heretics. They're the ones that rule in Korea. They're worse than traitors. And yet people go there saying it's a church. It's so sad. Even though our country's in this state, they don't know. So if you say you're in the light. 
The one who says he's in the light and yet hates his brother. 1 John chapter 3 verse 15. Hating is murder. So because you've hated others and murdered others, you and your children have to eat that back. So that family won't do well. They're a mess. And yet they're falling asleep. They're not saying amen. It's so sad. And so then these double-minded people who force themselves to amen. Amen is something that comes out when you repent, but you just say it, so you're lying. And so that's why you're cursed. Why is it that my household doesn't do well? Why are my problems not being solved? Because you're lying. It's so sad. It's so pathetic. So if you say you're in the light and yet you hate your brother, is in the darkness until now. So because you're in darkness, you don't know where's, where's you know, north, uh, north, south, east, west. If you're blind, you think that that is normal. You don't even know the light. You go around, you know, tapping things, thinking that's right. There are people who are sitting there here at our church. You have to realize if you're in the darkness, you're... Your, your, your evil that you're hating others, that you've hated all those people around you. So if you hate others, it's because you hate yourself that you hate others. Someone that evil, and you call them, you call them a churchgoer. They're the ones that argue and gossip. If you're in the darkness, if you don't even love others, and then you say, oh, when am I going to graduate? If you're not even even in Christ, how can you talk about graduating? You've already graduated to death. Why talk about graduating? And then to hear that and then just listen to it, you know, you just listen to it. Then you're the same. It's like with like. After hearing that, and then someone comes and reports it to me, I say, you're worse. You're worse evil. If you hear a dog barking, and I say, if you hear that, then you're the same. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 4, and yet people don't know this. They say, oh, so-and-so said, well, you're worse. How can, how can you not even know that? Why is it that you don't do well? There's someone next to you in darkness being ruined, and you don't say anything. So I'm not light. So that's why nothing works out for me. Why are you sitting there not knowing anything? You have to say correct words. So verse 10, the one who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. So you have to have none of this stumbling in you to be at peace. That's faith. If you have this stumbling inside of you, how? how if you have these pricklings inside of you, how can you receive answers? If you're in the light, then you love your neighbor. Because you love your neighbor, you love your spouse. Because you love your spouse, you love yourself. Because you love yourself, you can love your spouse. Because you love your spouse, you love your neighbors. But those people who don't love their spouse and their heart somewhere else, they're not interested in their spouse. That's someone who is evil. Whether that person's ruined, that next to you, whether they're ruined or not, whether they've eaten or not, if you're not interested, then your heart's somewhere else. So you're doing other things. In other words, you're committing adultery in your heart. You're thinking of someone in the past. You're, you're committing evil. And that appears in your children. And yet to not even know this, and then you grumble. And So if... If, if I pray on the word, I can see what that person is thinking. And already what they're thinking, their children are already, are already committing adultery. Oh, when you say, oh, that person in my past, then your children, they're committing fornication. And yet you don't know how to repent. Spouses, they're one flesh. They're one. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 and 5. How is it? You know, you're not interested in what that what that side does. If one side is dirty, how, how is it you're not even looking at it? In other words, you're doing something else you don't love. And then when you have problems, you grumble, you complain, you make excuses, and then you say, let's get divorced. This is the way of the evil. So do you do well if you divorce? Mal Malachi chapter 2 verse 2. It's what God hates. Are you going to do well at doing what God hates? If you've already been divorced, then you have to repent and have a new start. 
So verse 11, but the one who hates his brother is in the darkness. So people, often people say, oh, I don't hate. Well, if you don't hate, then how come you don't have love? You know, your next door neighbor, if that, if that husband or wife has an affair, you don't say anything. But that's hating because you don't love them. And you say, no, but I didn't hate them. This is where the demons are deceived. Those with demons, they're deceived. If you truly love them, you'd say, look, you know, you shouldn't do this. You know, you need to return your heart to your family. But no matter how much you say this, will they be fixed? No, you have to say, repent, go inside of Christ, become a blessed man, change to life. That's words of love. Other than that, if you say, oh, look, mister, you know, the father of so-and-so, you know, at 70, how can you be acting so silly? No, you think that's love? No. Other than God's word, there is no love. Only God's word. That's, you know, all human, you know, manners and culture and morals and ethics. No, it's, it's all evil. The only one who is good is God. Mark chapter 10, verse 18. And so it's only this word. God is only this word. So anyone who, anyone who says, oh, you should do this, or that, that's all evil. But you don't even say that. And then you say you've loved your neighbor. Why is it that people hate to hear Pastor Park? Has Pastor Park done anything? I just say God's word, but they don't want to hear this. You see those people, beggars at the at Pusan station, or they're in a hospice. You are, you say to those people, believe in God. They none of them believe in God. Why have they become so beggarly? Because they're evil. They won't come towards God, towards good. You see these people who attend church and do whatever they please. You see them. They become beggars because they're doing evil things, doing wicked things. And as they get older, it comes to them as scary disasters. They end up on the street, you know, crawling around like a dog. And then and it doesn't end there. They go to hell. It doesn't end there. They pass these disasters and curses to their children. And so you see these movies, plays, novels. The parents were beggars because of their disasters, but the children seem to do well. What is it to do well? What? To go up? It's to go up and not fall. That's doing well. To go up and seem to success, to be successful. If the parents are evil and then the children receive some, some power, some high position, some fame, the, the higher they go when they fall, they become more smashed. And their mistakes are thinking that's success. There are so many stupid people like that in this world. It's better off you didn't go up. And then at least you wouldn't fall. You know, if you just fall standing up, you may just hurt your back. But five meters, 10 meters, 100 meters, the higher you are promoted, you just become, you just become dust when you fall. So how stupid are you that you, you don't even know what success is? If the parents are beggars and then the children do well, if you go up, you're going to become, you're going to become smithereens soon. Worldly success without the rock. The rock is Christ. Only forced out repentance is Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. So you don't, you look at these people, they don't even know if this is success or failure. How pitiful is this? Am I truly loving my neighbor or am I hating them? So we've all been on the side of hating them. Even our spouse, we've hated them. And yet you don't know. So how, so you say, so what is it that my heart's, where my, where is my heart? Oh, my heart's at my earrings. Then you're an enemy with God. Matthew chapter six, verse 24. You're an enemy with God. Oh, these days, my heart's on my clothes. Well, then you're an enemy of God. Oh, these days, my heart is on my ring. Then you're an enemy of God. And yet you don't know this. You don't even know this. If you have a bad spouse relationship, then your heart's somewhere else. It's because you're evil. And yet you don't know this. Oh, I have a good spouse relationship. What do you mean it's good? If your heart's on God, then God will change that person's heart. But you don't put your heart on God. Where do you put it? Grum you have your grumblings and your complaints and you put your heart somewhere else. So if you pray, you think God's going to hear the demon prayers? 
that person's always falling asleep. That person pretends to do false get repentance, but their hearts, their, I mean, their thoughts are somewhere else. Oh, I should go out and do my hair. You say you're doing false get repentance, but you're thinking other things. So, because you're evil like that, so have a look around at the people sitting here. You see those people who aren't doing well. You sit the the you look at their attitude, how they're sitting. If if you can't see that they're doing cursed things, then you're evil. Have a look around. Have a look. That person's not looking around. They're not obeying. Because you're not obeying, you don't have faith. Then you don't do well. Why? Because of your pride, your 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 manners, your etiquette. You're not like a child. That's why you can't receive answers. You know, I'm someone who used to be so double-minded. In front of others, I'd act so well-mannered and 100%, that's a fake who's going to hell. How can a child be like that? Even though all the elders of the family are sitting there eating, if they want to do a poo, they'll say, poo, that's a child. There's no deceit, there's no hypocrisy, there's no packaging. That's how you go to heaven. So what I'm saying is look around at those people who are falling asleep who aren't saying amen. You see if their families do well. They don't. They don't. Why do I say look? Because you can see by their actions what they do. Why is it that I don't do well? Does that mean you should have this self, you know, discipline and be and and lie? And, no, it's to be like a baby, at peace. You know, why is it that we we? It's okay for a baby to not have clothes, but not for an adult. Why? Why? Because it's their actions. You know, we have to be like that in front of God, where anyone who looks at us, they're at peace. That's loving your neighbor. That's what a young child is like. Straight away, they'll say if they don't like something, say I don't like it. But if you're if you have lies, if you're double-minded, you can't even say that you you don't like it. You don't say that you you can't say I don't like it. You can't say I like it. Someone who can't say it's right or wrong, that's someone who is evil. Matthew five verse thirty-seven. Why is it my life is in darkness? Why is it I don't know where I'm going? Why is it I don't know if I should do this or that? It's because you're evil. That means in your daily life, you don't give profit to others because you don't love. Your heart can't go to two places. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. It can only go to one place. Someone with a bad spouse relationship, they're an enemy with God. If you're good with God, already you're loving your spouse. If you love your spouse, it's not with your words, but your heart. You know, if it's your makeup, you're wearing your clothes, getting your hair done, you know, self-centeredness. It's not there. It's gone to your spouse. You know, when I try it, that's what happens. Why is it that I don't know what my life, what's going to happen to my life? It's because you're in darkness. You're in evil. In other words, you don't love your neighbor. So blessings, according to what you do, that's what will give to you. Romans chapter 2 verse 6. So if you have problems, you're in darkness. You haven't loved God, so you haven't loved your neighbor. The sh- proof that you don't love your neighbor is that you don't even love yourself. Because you don't love yourself, you're worrying, you're double-minded, you're tormented. You have a bad spouse relationship. So when you go out, you have a bad, you have a bad relationship. And so because that's what you've planted, you know, you're in darkness, your children are planted, your your children are in darkness. You know, as soon as you know, they start to turn on the light. The parents turn the light off. You know, and so what is light? It's Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. It's four-step repentance. So if you've done four-step repentance, you should shine. But you're not. Why is it that at work you don't have popularity? You're chased out. Because you're always sitting like that. You know, when it's time to clean or or to gather, all you do is grumble and complain and you curse the government when you're worse. Starting from me, I have to love and to depart from the darkness. And that comes out in my family. That comes out in my children. That come that should come out in your neighbor. Let's Let's live. Why is it that my life My family, my country is in darkness because you don't love your neighbor. Why don't you love your neighbor? Because you don't love God. That is the new commandment. John chapter 14, verse 15.
So from today, our dark lives. What is it that I have to do? Where should I go? Why am I not doing well? Instead of saying that, let's change to light. If you change to light, no matter how much you're in darkness, that darkness has nothing to do with me. Dragonflies, butterflies, bees, they all, even the grasshoppers seek out the light. In, in, in the summer, when you turn on the light, that's what they do. Even the mosquitoes come. They all come. Let's do well. Let's do well. Am I someone who truly loves myself? If I did love myself, if you truly love your neighbor, that person changes. Today, let's be victorious. Our dark lives, let's, with the light, let's open the way. Let's give help to us. Let's have light in our children's lives. What happens when you curse others? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, yeah, when I see that person, yeah. You know, they had such a big sleep in their eye. And you say it's not you. If you say it's not you, that's when you're cursing. When it's me, then it's okay. When you say, oh, yeah, they deserve, they deserve death. But when you say it's me, that's when it ends. We have to repent, we have to repent and end it. And then later... You know, you curse that person and then and then you realize, it's me, it's me. After cursing them, and then to say, it's me. So then that person repents too. Let's save our society. I have to live from today, light. May we all be blessed. May we all change. Let's all pray. Lord, you've given us this way where we can live with such a bright light why am I wandering around in the darkness why am I why am I wandering because of disease and, and financial problems and a bad spouse relationship Father why is it that my relationships have, relationships have become like this because my heart's not right because my heart's been somewhere else oh I don't like to go there but I like to go here Am I a cat or am I a donkey? Help us to realize rightly. Father, we can't become a cow who follows after people. We can't become a donkey who follows after a place. That's what it says in Isaiah chapter 1. What is it that we're looking at? Oh, those back mountains. Oh, am I going somewhere because of the location like a donkey? Oh, I like the bathhouse. Am I a donkey? Oh, I like the world's people. Am I Am I a cow? Help us now to become a man. Help us to save our families. Help us to save this country. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.